so basically we all have an idea of what we are looking for based on an idea of what we believe we do not have on a tous une idée de ce qu'on cherche mais c'est basé sur une idée que on n'a pas quelque chose <coughs> And we can continue looking and looking and looking and looking and comparing and understanding and checking to see if we feel it, yes? And that will probably go on forever. <laughs> on peut continuer à, à comparer, à comprendre, à voir si on le ressent, et comprendre ce qu'on cherche, etc. Et ça, ça va probablement continuer pour toujours. And it's quite tiring, c'est assez fatiguant. So what we're trying to do with these Advaita concepts is to not look at the object that we're searching for, but to look at the subject, who is searching for it. Ce qu'on essaie de faire avec ces concepts Advaita, soi-disant Advaita, c'est de ne pas regarder l'objet qu'on cherche, et de regarder le sujet qui le cherche. That's all. But if you want to, we can also explore the nature of the object, the nature of the happiness, or the peace, or the seeing, whatever it is. We can also do that. Si vous voulez, on peut aussi explorer la nature de l'objet que nous cherchons, que ce soit la paix, le bonheur, de voir, de sentir, <coughs> Which would you like to do? Just who's in my face? If I asked each of you what is happiness, what is seeing, what is self knowledge, you would have a description of that from your experience and from memory, <coughs> what you've heard, what you've read. And that's very useful to have that. And to look at when it's here, when it's not here, how do I feel when it's here, how do I feel when it's not here. All that is very useful. I'm not saying it's not useful. Si je vous demande à chacun de vous de décrire l'objet que vous cherchez, vous aurez beaucoup à dire de votre expérience, de ce que vous avez entendu, lu, de la mémoire. Et ça c'est très utile, je ne dis pas que c'est très utile. But it remains an object. Ça reste un objet. And the object is always going to remain as long as there is an I me subject. L'objet continuerait, continuera à exister tant qu'il y a un moi, je, sujet. And in Jean-Marc's description, it's very clear, sometimes <coughs> it's there, sometimes it's not there. Sometimes he's looking for something, sometimes he's not looking for something. And we've all had that experience. Sometimes it's very strong, sometimes it doesn't exist. Parfois c'est très fort, c'est là, l'objet de notre recherche, notre désir. Parfois c'est simplement pas là. And if we look at that mechanism, we might think or feel, ah, I found it. I now have it in this moment. That will be our conclusion. Because it's checked, verified, against experience. Feeling, sensation, emotion, experience. So then we conclude, ah, I now have it. I'm now feeling it. For example, happiness, that's an easy one. Now I feel happy. 
Oh, now I don't feel happy. Now I know who I am. Oh, now I've forgotten who I am. Yes? Now I am seen or heard or understood. Now I'm not seen or heard or understood. But if we look at that mechanism more closely, if we look at that movement <coughs> more closely, and if we analyze it, something else is happening. Si on regarde ce mechanism de plus près, si on l'analyse, en fait, il y a quelque chose d'autre qui se passe. Happiness has not come and gone. Le bonheur n'est pas venu, n'est pas parti. That is a kind of happiness. A state of happiness, a state of peace, a state of knowing comes and goes. State, experience, energy comes and goes. Objects are always changing. C'est vrai qu'il y a des états, des énergies, des expériences qui viennent et qui partent. Ça, c'est des objets qui viennent et qui partent. I'm not talking about that. Je ne parle pas de ça. Clarity and understanding also. Clarity and understanding. La clarté. Et la compréhension viennent et partent. <coughs> Je ne parle pas de ça, not talking about that. Because we've all understood we cannot find a permanent state, object, experience, or energy. Nous avons tous compris qu'on ne peut pas trouver une expérience, un état, une énergie ou un objet permanent. We've tried it. Well, I see. And many teachers have told us. The Buddha said, everything is impermanent. The Buddha dit, tout est impermanent. It's very, very difficult for the ego intellect to accept this completely. C'est très difficile pour l'ego intellect d'accepter ça complètement. We still believe there must be a permanent state, experience, energy, or object. There must be. There has to be. So we continue looking for it. We continue hoping for it. I will go to another satsang, I will do another retreat, another workshop, read another book, sit a bit longer, stay in silence longer, purify myself. Make love to ten more people, whatever it is, whatever the practice is, and then I will find what I'm looking for. Je vais faire encore un peu plus de quelque chose pour trouver finalement ce que je veux. This is the hope. Ça c'est l'espoir. You know that, don't you? 